Top Solid Assembly Document has its own variety of tools that you'll need to build, manage, and test your assemblies. Just like within our part design document, there are specific managers that will be available to you. First, you can see on the right, I'm, I have my project open. As I stated in previous videos, in order to work on any data in Top Solid, you'll always have the project it's associative to open. In this case, I'm working on a V12 engine assembly. I'm going to minimize the project to the right. On the left-hand side of the screen, I have a couple of other managers open. I have, of course, my history tree, my entities tree, and a new manager called the parts manager. Now, the operations manager and entities tree work identically to the way they do in the parts manager. They're there to help you manage information. But here I've added another manager that's specifically used in assemblies. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off for a sec just to, again, show you how to add it back. You can either go to the seven pull down menu, go to view, go down to parts, or you could have right mouse button clicked on an open manager and chosen parts that way as well. Quickly, the parts manager's job is there to manage parts in your assembly. For example, I'd like to turn everything off. Cool. Maybe I want to see all four of my camshafts. I can just go ahead and select that check mark, which activated all of them in that group. Maybe I don't want all of them. Maybe I only want that one. Awesome. Maybe I want to see all my valves. Even cooler. Now I can see the camshaft as it's related to my valves. Fantastic. Just like in a part design document, there are tabs across the top of your screen as well. These tabs are representative of the various functions that you'll use in, again, building assemblies, manipulating assemblies, doing mechanical simulation of an assembly, and so on. Be sure to explore all the possibilities you have within a top solid assembly document.